There you go. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Chris Blakeman. I'm here with Lewis from Brother today, a phenomenal professional demonstrator. And we're going to look at the new Luminaire XP1, top of the line Brother sewing machine. This is a brand new machine that's just come out. We're super excited about the new features. And Lewis has been kind enough to show us a demonstration today. And you've been demoing for the last day and a half now like a madman. So this is going to be great. We're well, really excited to see This is an exciting see. machine. So I'm glad to be able to share it with you guys and be able to showcase some of the highlights of the machine. Awesome. We're excited. This is great. This is, there are a lot of new technology in here. There's, how many new features do you think there are on this compared to the Dream Machine? I've lost count. <laughs> <laughs> there are quite a few and there are some mechanical and some built in on the electronic side of the machine as well as some in space. This is a much larger machine so you have a much bigger sewing field as well as your embroidery field is now grown. Awesome. Awesome. Well, if you want to roll through some of these new features, that'd be great, Louis. Oh, terrific. I'll be you, happy sir. to showcase these. And one of the most important newest ones, for me anyway, I think it's really handy. I think that your sewer's going to love this, is our dual spit spool thread stand. You'll notice the lid is still attached to the machine. The spool pin pops in and out. And I'm going to pop off my thread so you guys can really get a feel for what it would look like when you get yours home in a box. So it's gonna all be collapsed because this now has its own storage lid and container. So when you're coming to class and you need your dual spool, spool pin, you're able to just pop their lid off. And then after you get your lid popped off, you're gonna expand, set up, pop quick, flip, twist, extend, lock, lock. And you'll notice I'm just gonna set it in the lid. And it's like, well, won't it shift or fall? No, because the magnets are gripping this now. So this has a very heavy duty magnet, magnetic system. It takes me two hands to get it off if it's locked in in the correct position. So it's not gonna fly or slide. I'm gonna reconnect the thread. Your machine is gonna thread the same. If you've had a brother machine before, your machine will thread exactly the same, except for the fact of your little bobbin clip that we normally use for bobbins. You're gonna use that to clip your thread. And I'm gonna pop my thread out for those of you that have not experienced the brother needle threader, because if you've never seen this, it will just be so amazing to you. We're gonna pop our thread in our last thread guide, give our little telecut, oops, give our little telecut and it'll lock into place. Notice it cut my tail at the perfect height, length, and I'm gonna use one button to thread my needle. It's so amazing to me. That's like the best part. <laughs> one button, one handed. <laughs> and now you'll see that something else is new. A new, brand new needle plate, a brand new bobbin cover. And I've decided that I wanna go from my zigzag needle plate to my straight stitch needle plate. I no longer need a screwdriver. I have one touch pop, the plate comes off, and then if I switch plates or change, it's gonna simply snap back into place and lock in. So no need for a screwdriver on, and it's got wonderful new grid markings on both the left and the right side, which is strictly so phenomenal. Well, I wanna start by showing you the beautiful Act, um, captive's new screen. You'll notice how the coloring has changed. This is designed kind of like an iPad, so it's really got some cool features, and we're going to start by going into our sewing. The carriage is going to move just like normal and get out of our way for sewing, and you'll notice the screen has changed. It's nice, it's light, it's bright, and when I want to see different categories of stitches, I simply swipe now. If I want to edit, I still have my editing tools. It's just that they're hidden out of the way, not taking up space on the screen any longer. So I can still make choices, twin needle, mirror imaging, free motion, but I said, oh, I don't want these anymore, and I'm going to be using our new, um, and I'm going to turn it so you can see the brother, our new brother stylus. You'll notice it's got a rubber tip on the end because now of this new screen, it's a rubber tip capacitator screen so you want to have that rubber tip you can't use the hard surface to tap any longer um, simply because of that new screen so we'll get rid of our um, editing tools and am I there we go you'll listen for the beep you want to make sure you're tapping in the actual icon not to the left or the right so that it activates you'll notice you'll hear a beep and it'll give you a selection well, I want to choose one of my beautiful de uh, decorative stitches and again tap in the screen. You'll have to hear your beep and I'm going to select my little star stitch. Well, I love this stitch and it's great to see and it's wonderful on the screen. 
But what if I want to make changes to this and so? So if I go on the screen and I change my width, I change the length, I can see on the screen the way the stitch, and this is on any machine, you'll be able to do that and see it, but this does not translate to what does that stitch look like on my fabric? So I want to see what it's going to look like on the actual fabric. Well, one of the newest, most exciting features of the machine is you now, you still have a camera built in on this machine. Don't worry, it won't take selfies. And so, <laughs> no tweeting. <laughs> but you also have built in a projector. And so when you tap your projection icon, which is this triangular um, icon on your screen, it's going to then take a second for it to activate because your screen talks to your projector, which is right here inside of our luminaire button. And it's going to make that luminaire uh, activate. And then we're going to tap our screen so that we can get to our stitches. Now I'm sitting in an awkward position, so I'm going to switch a little. There we go. Now look at how cool this is. Oh my God. I have the stitch projected onto my fabric as if I'm going to stitch it the exact size. <laughs> pretty amazing. That's Isn't pretty that amazing. wonderful? Yeah. But you know, even more exciting is I want that stitch does not look good and it's not going to stitch out well for me. I don't, or I don't want it like that. I don't have to go to the screen. I can. And as I go to the screen and make changes, you'll notice my stitch is changing on the fabric. And you'll see that happening as I make changes. And I'm, I can do that on the screen, but I also can use my new sensor pin, which has one end is your rubber tip. The other end has got a little light and I'll just flash it over here so you can see it. That little light hovers above your fabric. And so as I make changes, you'll see that it's going to also change my stitch on my fabric. You wanna listen for the little beep to let you know you're making changes. That's how it's actually gonna sew. So you can see and preview your stitches to know what it's gonna look like before you sew. Saving you time, right? Yeah. Because you don't have to stitch out a little sample now to see what <laughs> it looks like. And if you had a purchased linen shirt, you don't necessarily have a little piece of fabric to sew a sample. You can see what the stitch is gonna look like. Well, I don't like that stitch, Very really. Good. I wanna choose a different stitch. I don't have to go to my screen to do that. I'm gonna to go to my stitch preview, and when you go to stitch preview, you're gonna get these all of your stitches, your previous stitch, current stitch selection, and the next stitch. So when you wanna get over to a particular stitch, and I love this honeycomb stitch, so I'm gonna scroll over until I get to the honeycomb stitch. You wanna listen for your machine to beep, and then when it beeps, you know that it's advancing your stitches. And as I scroll over, and I'm hitting the little button on the center pin. So this is your little button right here. As every time you tap that button, it advances to your next stitch. So I have a single, double, and I love the triple honeycomb. So I'm gonna get it to that triple honeycomb and that's the stitch I wanna use. So I'm gonna click on my set icon and the set is gonna pop up my stitch adjustments. I already know I want mine at seven millimeters. So I'm gonna click until I get to seven. Did you hear that? <laughs> that little click click is letting you know I'm at the maximum, I'm at the minimum, I've done as much as I can. So you don't even have to ever look at the screen. You yeah. actually see everything. I love all the right little here. knocks and clicks and harp sounds it well, makes it now. Really it's very subtle give and nice. You an audible, you know, warning so that you don't have to look at the screen and see what is, is this as big as it can get. So now I have my stitch up and I have a piece that I'm working on right now. So I'm going to just pop that one out of the way. And this is something that I'm kind of working on to be an insert in a block. And so now I can say, oh God, that's gonna be the perfect little stitch to go there to offer balance. You'll notice though, that I have some stitches that are very wide. Some of these very wide stitches are done in your sewing. They're not embroidery because you can now get up to 60 millimeters on the width of some of your decorative stitches. Well, I need to know that I'm gonna sew that stitch right next to that stitch. So I'm gonna turn off my projection on the screen. So I'm gonna actually turn that off and get rid of it. And then it's gonna talk from the screen. It talks over to your projector in your machine and then it comes back to it. So then we're gonna come and we're gonna turn on our grid lines. So we have the grid line selection right here. 
we want to turn it on. And when you turn it on, you notice, look at my fabulous grid lines. Wow. I know I'm going to sew perfect. I know I'm going to sew exactly straight. And I know my stitches are going to line up exactly where I want them to go. Wow. I can even turn my grid line into just a straight line. And when I turn it into a straight line, I get my double straights. But I'm like, well, which is which? I'm going to make my sewing line to the edge of my fabric to be my red and then my stitching line is the green so that if you're actually stitching and you want it to make sure that your fabric and everything lined up perfect this is going to give you the edge of your fabric and the sewing line so that you know that you will always be sewing straight and that's going to give you double grid lines or you can have simply a sing single but let's look at this little triangle area that we have right here. Well, how do we make sure everything's perfect here? You even have angled sewing on your screen in your grid line settings. So notice my settings right now. And if my piece and I want to sew exactly in there to there, I know that the pivot point to make sure that I have a quarter inch distance. So for my quilters. Ohio Star, Le Moyne Star, any of those kind of stars, the angle's always a 60 degree angle. I don't have to mark that little dot in every star point to know that all of the stars are gonna be stitched a perfect quarter inch. I have it right on my fabric and this will stay on as I'm sewing. Chris, this is really, really oh, exciting. Oh, it's amazing, yeah. I'm Nothing like this before ever. It's just so cool. And now I'm gonna get rid of my grid lines and get rid of turn those off so that I don't have to have them on any longer and we're going to come over to the screen because I want you to see some of the cool new stitches in the decorative stitches category so in order to see the different categories it's simply a swipe just like on your phone or your iPad we now have our Disney stitch character stitch characters in the built-in decorative stitches. So these are sewing, these are not embroidery. You know, we've had Disney in embroidery for quite some time now. However, we can now sew these in a decorative band or decorative stitches. And I love the little star with the little, I call them the princess pumps. And then you also have <laughs> the crown so that Her Majesty will, and I'm, it's on your screen on the side, and it's going to, and you're gonna edit it out. And so we have the little crown. So you have Disney stitches as well as fabulous new decorative stitches. You have great sayings and wonderful words, but you also have some of the most beautiful decorative stitches I've ever seen. Birthday celebrations, your cupcakes for your party, ornaments for your holiday tree. You've got wonderful features that are great for Anybody that loves cars and trucks, I'm not going to say a boy or a girl, because everybody can drive a train, right? So you got that. <laughs> My favorite, I think, is the hedgehog. <laughs> Isn't that great? They've added so many novelty <laughs> patterns. It's so many fun new <laughs> designs. And several of these, when you go and choose one, so we'll choose some of the larger ones, you're going to have, and if you'll notice down and below in the width, this is 25 millimeters wide. Wow. Your stitch width on your zigzag opening is only seven. So this stitch is going to stitch in a sideways motion, actually move your fabric sideways to form that pattern that large. So many cool things. And what's even better is because my new machine has built-in Wi-Fi on it, I can simply tell it to turn the Wi-Fi on. My PE Design Software 11 will allow me to create beautiful decorative stitches in it and wirelessly transfer decorative stitches to the machine as well. Wow. Very cool oh, things. Oh, phenomenal. Well, now, I know this is a lot to take in and a lot to digest, and you're trying to figure out how you'll ever remember any of this. So we're gonna go into our help menu because your instruction manual is now built in on the machine. If you need to see or do something, you ask your machine, sewing or embroidery, this little QR code, if you take a picture of it, will take you to the website, allow you to do a printed version of the manual, and also take you directly to customer support and product accessories. So everything is instantaneous on this machine. I'm gonna tell it I wanna do sewing, and I'm gonna say, oh, I need to be able to, and I'm gonna go back to my normal view, and I need to find out about, oh, let's say the Move It foot. We're gonna come up and type in Move It, and it's going to then search 
for that in our manual for us. Anywhere the moving foot appears, it will highlight it. And I'm like, oh, well, who can see that? Well, it's okay, pinch to zoom it. Wow. And then you can scroll it if you want to. And wherever move it comes up, it tells you the page to instantly jump to. This so, is so convenient. Oh God, it's just, it's the smartest machine. Yes. And don't worry, it's not smarter than you. It still <laughs> needs you to do it with. Yeah. But all the help you ever could need is built in right on your machine. Even if you forget something, we're gonna close that manual and we're gonna go back into our information. And I haven't put a zipper in in years, so I'm like, oh, Oh, I'm in my uh, embroidery mode. It told me it couldn't be used because it's smart enough to know you're in embroidery. You do not need to know about sewing right now. I'll tell you about sewing when you go there. So we're gonna go home and go to our embroidery manual actually and go to see the beautiful stitches that can be done in embroidery. We've added now the uh, capabilities of being able to swipe to get to your category. So if you want a category, for example, you simply swipe your screen, choose your category, and choose your stitches. Well, you're like, I wanna see all of the stitches in that category. We can expand this, and it's like, oh, those, that, it's too big to see them all. I could pinch so I can zoom them in or zoom them back out, and I wanna choose my lovely uh, deer with the antlers and I'm like well did I select it you can collapse your menu you'll see that you have the beautiful uh, de design right there and I need information about it I want to see the size the time so when you tap on your new information icon it's going to pop it up and you have background selection so you can see what it'll look like on light or dark fabrics all the colors of the thread the stitch time the stitch count all of the different settings prior to selecting that we're gonna tap set, and I have the design that was what was on my hoop before. We're gonna go into our settings and get rid of that because that was from before, and I don't need it any longer. We'll delete that image, and it'll simply show it to us in our edit screen. Well, the wonderful new, new, new projector that is <laughs> in on your machine, besides this new gigantic hoop, 10 and a half by 16. It's the hula hoop. We need a drum roll. <laughs> this is the hula hoop of embroidery. It's amazing. It's gigantic. We're going to attach our hoop. The hoop's attached the same way, but the new function or feature with this large hoop is we no longer have to worry about tightening or loosening the screw because you now have a clamp that opens out your hoop. You pop it out, put in your new fabric, and simply clock it back. No more need to tighten or loosen the screw any longer, and you get perfect, beautiful tension on your fabric. Well, I need to see where the reindeer or pretty deer is going to sew. We still use our positioning stickers that you may be familiar with that is better known as the snowman sticker. Now, the, when you use your snowman sticker, this is basing it on the center of the design. Well, my concern is that the little bird that's in the design, I need to know where it's going to sew because I want it in a particular place. Well, with your positioning sticker, it'll position the design where you want to, but it can't tell you where a specific part of that design is gonna sew. So we're gonna remove the sticker and we're going to use our projection. And when we turn on our projection, it's going to lower your foot. It's going to dim down your wow. lighting. Wow. And look at that. Is that like beautiful? I want to see the bird though. So I need to see where it's going to sew the bird. This is real time. So it's showing me that this bird is going to sew right in that position. Because it's great to be able to see it here. And you also can use your scanner to scan what's in the hoop. However, still seeing the design on the fabric gives you even more precise placement. And that's the advantage of the projector is it's even more precise. The quality of the preview is amazing it's too. I mean, it looks color. really good quality. You can see the detail inside of those colors. And, and I can tell it that now that's perfect. That's positioned. That's right where I want it to be. But the deer's a little small. So I'm going to be in my editing screen. And as I expand with my fingers, it has now resized the embroidery design. So no more size and move, you don't have to do that, and I can simply drag to move like before, but I can make the reindeer smaller, and I can make him bigger simply by a drag and expand. I'm gonna now tell it that I want to be in my embroidery screen. 
Oh, no, I forgot to add some lettering. We're gonna go back. I'm gonna go and choose to add, and we're gonna go and look in our fonts. In your fonts, we've got added some new styles in your fonts for you to use on your uh, based in built-in machine fonts. And we'll go, and I'm just gonna type, um, let's say that's a deer, and our deer, and now we're going to set. Well, I wanna adjust that. Let's drag that down so that we can see it a little better. And I meant to make the letters curved, so we're going to go to our edit screen and choose our text font. We're going to go to array, and I'm going to make those letters curve a little bit. I'm also going to then expand that out some so that my letters are not so close together. And I want to move that up right under my bottom of my deer so that the point goes right in between the two E's. Tell it okay. I can change the spacing, I can change the size, I can even change the letters. I can change them all together or I can change them each individually. I'm pretty happy with that one, so we're gonna click set, except I want that pink for my lettering so it shows the pink at the same time. I'm gonna go into my, back into my colors, I'm gonna choose that. Now I have two designs. It's gonna to try to select all of them, but it only selected the reindeer. So when I come down to the actual lettering, I can simply tap on my letter. It's gonna select the letters, and I'm gonna make those have that same beautiful pink color so that it'll stitch the same time as the flowers. I think that it's got so many cool features, but I'm not done because I <laughs> want this to be in a quilt. So we have had in previous um, versions of this top of the line machine, our built-in stippling. We've had where we could copy the outside to save this in my design center. I'm gonna go to my stippling mode. You guys are familiar with that. Now notice it, my right deer is gone. Oh my God, what happened? Well, that's because I can tell it to stipple that and embroider the reindeer on top, or I can tell it to select all of these, and then when they're grouped together as one, I can go back to the stippling, and it will now stipple around everything because my deer is here. Well, that's a really nice thing, and we've had that before, so that's really fun. You can change the spacing, change the distance, but the new thing here is that I can also tell it to echo quilt. So I can echo quilt with one touch just as I did with my stipple. You can adjust the distance so far as how far away the echo should appear. And you can adjust the spacing of it so you can make the lines further apart. I love this one touch, one step function. It makes everything easy, fast, and simple. I'm going to cancel that and get back out to my main screen. One last thing I'd like to share with you guys is in my design center. We're gonna touch and go to our home screen. And when we're in our home screen and go to my design center, this is the part of the machine that is the auto digitizing. I can literally scan an image, scan fabric. I can draw on the screen. And as soon as I draw, my machine has converted it into an embroidery. Well, we also have some really cool built-in shapes here. So I'm gonna go and choose one of my shapes and I'm gonna open up my heart. And that's a great pattern, but I want it filled in with a beautiful stitch file. So I'm gonna go and choose one of the 30 built-in design patterns. And you notice I switch between stylus finger. Your finger still works on the screen. You do not have to use the stylus. We have nicknamed this little pattern the doll dress pattern because it looks like a little doll dress, right? Yeah. So we're going to name, well, a clamshell. Yes, if you live by the sea. Sure. If you're down in the south and do Creative a lot of people heirloom, see different things. We're going to, yes, that's for certain. That's a doll dress. <laughs> I'm it gonna leave my color in red and I'm gonna fill in my pattern that's and I'm gonna pop in next and have it there. Well, in this screen, it automatically generates it to that position. Well, this little dot in my mind should be in the middle. So I can change where the pattern is positioned in a design and I'm simply gonna tap and hold my positioning offset. And when you do that, you're gonna notice that the pattern has completely changed in positioning. We wanna tell it okay so that it can recalculate, regenerate. Now notice how the doll dress and this clamshells at the bottom of her dress have dropped down to the bottom to create a beautiful pattern. I mean, it's so much fun. We're gonna go and choose the outline next because I wanna change that pattern. 
you know we've had prior our wonderful selections up to our chain stitching we now have blanket stitch a binding stitch and you can choose select to choose other wonderful patterns I'm gonna select my little teardrops on the little stems let's change the color to a green so we can see it we're gonna tell it that it's automatically changed and made into a great pattern but it's covering my embroidery pattern on the inside I'm gonna simply tap on flip and it's going to then generate those to the outside is so many fun, fun things that you can do here and create. This is the best that brothers ever come out with. It's the easiest, the simplest, the fastest, the most intuitive, and with the most functions that I think everyone is gonna love this machine. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. I mean, and in the past too, brothers come out with a lot of high-end technology, a lot of innovative things, the most innovative in the industry. I mean, without question. And, but really, when you look at these new features and you're doing all these new things on this machine, it's user-friendly. It's That's the key with yeah. Brother. All of our Brother product line includes user-friendly, user interfaces on our machines to make sure that when you're home and you're sitting and you're alone, you don't have to worry about pulling out a manual. You don't have to call the store, which is now closed at 3 in the morning, <laughs> because you promised it would be done or you don't have to sit and try and drive yourself crazy trying to figure out things. On Brothers, if you can see a picture, you can use a Brother. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, and so that's the exciting thing, really. I mean, we see all this new technology, all these new things, and you get to use it. I mean, you really get to use it and have fun. Because that's what it's all about. That's what it's about. It's about having fun. fun. Yeah. And this makes it easy and fast to do that with. Awesome. Well, thank awesome. you so much for allowing yeah, me to share no, the thank beautiful you. new Thanks Luminaire the machine again, from Brothers. So. Yeah, yeah. Can we see you anywhere? Is there anywhere you're going to be this year or anywhere? All over. All over. You can <laughs> see Lewis anywhere. All right? over, yeah. Anywhere. You will see me all cool. over. Awesome. Yeah.